Welcome back. So if you remember, we had a login problem. As soon as I try to log in or create a new user, I automatically log in with that user. This is actually a known issue, it seems, um, because Firebase didn't build their API for us to actually be admins that create users. It's built for signing up to an application, which makes perfect sense. It's just annoying now that I actually need to try and make an application where I can create users as an admin. I don't want to be signed out all the time every time I create a user. But you can look at this post if you want to. There are some answers available, and I'm going to implement this one, which is a kind of a, a crazy implementation in my mind, but it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some code so that when we create a user now and press save, it won't lock LJB out and log in with the new user. It'll actually just keep the current user. We'll get an error down here. We might solve that later, and I might just ignore it because this is a nasty hack anyway, so we might get a few errors here and there. I don't think security-wise there's any issues with this, but there is, it's just, yeah, it's just weird. Okay, so let's try and have a look here at what we actually do. First of all, just to make things simple and not copy-paste a lot of the information, I moved my Firebase config and Firebase login config, the two files I used to actually send down here when I initialized my app, I moved those into app settings like this. So they are now available here, the two different files, so I can actually use them all over the code wherever I feel like it. That's, that's the first thing I did. Now, when I go into uh, my user service, I make the hack that I just showed you on the page where I kind of say, if there's not an app available, make a new app pointing at, so now we have two different connections to Firebase. We're going to have a connection to Firebase where we are getting information and doing everything except creating users. And then we're going to make a second connection here that's just for connecting of creating users. Because when I create a user here, I won't be told in um, wherever I'm listening for actually authentication, I won't be told that a new user is created so you have to log in, log out, right? It'll just send this into a place where nobody's listening. That's why we need now two connections for Firebase. It's a nasty hack in my mind, but it seems that's the only way we can do it right now. So you have to live with the API that Firebase provides since you are kind of bound to that inside this solution. So what we're doing is we're saying, get the app and call auth. Now notice this is not uh, Angular Fire that I'm using here. It's actually this required Firebase that you're doing. So you have to do this yourself. You have to require Firebase because it's actually Firebase and not Angular Fire I'm using, right? So we're not dependency injection anything. This is actually real code we're putting in here. Now what we're doing is we're saying get the auth from that one and create a user with your email and password. That's pretty simple. When that is done, then we do exactly the same that we did before, but using the real database list to actually populating this information inside the users list. That's all we had to do. So let's try and see this actually running inside the browser. So I do an add again. I notice right now it's LJB. I add last builder here and I do a save. Now it pops up with this error, I'll try and find a solution for that, but it actually creates the user as I expect, and it also goes to uh, Firebase and creates the user in here as I expected. There we have the new user available, and also in the database it creates the new user right here with the actual username and the UID for that authentication user up here. So everything is running as I expect, except that it's just crazy that I have to make that hack to keep the right user signed in. Now that's, it again, it's just the choice Firebase made because they don't want you to have an admin like we do here, or I'm going to build here, they want you to just uh, sign up, right? And then you'll get locked in right away, it makes sense. But let's just add one more user just for the fun of it. So we have a new user available here and I'll just do a save again. And there we go. I don't get the error the second time. I think it's because I tried to get account information the first time and I just ignore it, I think that's a problem. But now I have another user up here, I don't wanna to spend too much of your time to show you this as well, but just look at this, another user here and another user here. So everything is up and running now for actually authenticating users uh, and adding them to creating new users. So next let's try and look at how we handle the error message if something goes wrong, like the email already, already exists or something like that. See you next time.